Hello guys, welcome to another video. Yesterday, Starship S-26 was removed from the test stand at the suborbital pad and later at night, it was rolled back to the production site. After parking in front of the high bay for some time, it was moved inside keeping next to Starship S-27. Having undergone two cryogenic tests, S-26 will probably get its engine soon. The orbital launch mount got its 10th shielding plate. Not many spaces are left to be filled, maybe two or three more plates to go. There is still a lot of scaffolding on and around the OLM. The Raptor maintenance platform is still up under the skirt of Booster 7. Those scaffolding also need to go before Starship S-24 can be restacked again on top of Booster 7. So, there is still a lot of work to be done before S-24 can finally show up here at the launch site. It's already March, but S-24 is not likely to make a move anytime soon. From Ocean Cam's awesome shot of S-24 in the rocket garden, we can see that a few tiles are still missing on the Noscone. Is Starship test flight going to face another delay? I really wish it does not. 30 this is seconds. The LD on countdown one. Hold, hold, hold. We are standing down to do a T-tab ground issue. After scrubbing its launch attempt of the Crew-6 mission on Monday due to the T-TEB issue, SpaceX will once again attempt to launch the four astronauts to the space station tonight after midnight at 12.34 a.m. Eastern Time. The weather is looking fantastic and I wish all the teams involved in the crew a successful launch tomorrow. As usual we will be streaming the launch live here, so please come and watch the first crewed mission of the year. I will end here for this video. Thank you for watching.